Honestly, this has to be one of my hardest beats that I made recently, and that's thanks to the very simple melody that allows the drums to go very hard. Okay, so let's start with a melody first because it's very simple. First things first, I used this preset from Analog Lab, it's from this bank right here, and I laid down this pattern. Next up I rendered this pattern to audio and what I did next was reversing it and increasing the pitch to a whole octave and I set it on stretch and with no effects it sounds like this. Next I added two effects, first one has to be always half time, blended it with the original audio through this mix knob right here, then I added finisher micro, the default preset to add some more texture to it and with the effects it sounds like this. Next up, once again on Analog Lab, on the same bank, I used this preset right here and laid down this pattern that sounds similar to the original melody. The only thing I did was taking out some low mid frequencies using EQ2 and when it's cleaner it sounds like this. And here's how the whole melody sounds before we go to the drums. So before I show you each drum pattern on its own, I'm gonna show you the whole drum loop, how it sounds. These drums are for my upcoming Sauce Drum Kit Volume 10, so stay tuned for that. Until then, you can cop the rest of my drum kits that are currently on sale, so make sure you hit the link down below to find them. I'm gonna start with the 808 first, as always, so here's how the pattern sounds. To achieve this sound right here, what I did was simply adding a slide note to make this bending sound. Those fast triplets right here, they were achieved by going to this knob right here and clicking on one third beat, and now you have this grid available. And you can make those really bouncy triplets. Next I added a kick and it sounds like this. To add more swing to it, I slowly increase the velocity on those rolls right here instead of having them like this. And that way I made it sound more natural. Next up we have this crash. It's honestly there to complement the kick and the 808. Then we're going to those close hi-hats right here. Okay, so let's dissect this pattern slowly. The first thing to notice is those rolls right here. If you check the velocity, I actually started lowering it and then I also increased it somewhere in the middle to make this really weird effect. And I did the same for the pitch of those notes. Next up, we have some lower notes right here and I did the same technique as well. At the end of the second bar, we have this reverse note right here. It's pretty much multiple rolls and I slowly increase the velocity as shown right here. And I also used this reverse pattern right here to introduce those triplets. Then we have these two claps alongside with a nice snare and the pattern goes like this. The only thing to notice is right here on the snare I have this pattern which I lower the velocity and I also start from a higher pitch now during the beat there is another section where I add half time to majority of the beat and it sounds like this. You're 
probably wondering how I did that without affecting the kick and the 808, so let me show you how. So as you may already know, I have my melodic bars routed to a melody bus right here. By the way, if you want to check how I mix my melodies, make sure you check this video right here. Then I also took all of my top drums, minus the kick and the 808, and I routed them to another bus. And now we have these two bus channels right here, and I routed them to another track. And on this track, I added halftime, EQ2 to make everything sound like it's played on an old radio, and reverb 2 to add some ambience. And I created automation clips like that on the amount knob, so I choose when I want the effect to take place. Thank <laughs> you. 